Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. In today's video, we're going to be creating this Patrick Tarr and Dixie D'Amelio inspired makeup. So I've actually seen these two photos of Dixie on Patrick Tarr's Instagram and I saved them ages ago and I've been wanting to do this look for such a long time. Every time Patrick Tarr does something really smoky on Dixie, I just absolutely live for it. I'm like, get that on my face right now. So I knew I had to do something like this today. I've been dying to do this look and I just really needed to get it out of my system. So this is the look that we did for really focused on eyes today. And it was actually quite nice to teach working with black eyeshadow because it is actually something that's really, really difficult. So, so before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. And if you wanna see, how did this eye makeup then keep on watching? Wow, sorry, can we just ignore the state of my hair? It's gonna be like this throughout the whole video, but at the end, I'm gonna transform it. So let's just pretend that I've got like bouncy blow or really sleek straight hair, something like that. <laughs> let's just pretend, okay, okay. So I'm sure I'll have mentioned in my intro that I really wanna do this Dixie D'Amelio and Patrick Tarr sort of look. Um, so I'm gonna set this up on my iPad and pop it to the side actually, I'm gonna leave it here, I think, just so I can like reference it as I go. I've already got my skin on because I do feel like we would be here all day if I did skin. And I feel like this look is more about the eyes, like I'm just looking in now and yeah, it is more about the eyes. So, so excited to do this look. So we're gonna go ahead and prime our eyelids. I'm gonna be using the P. Louise base. I'm actually using quite a few P. Louise products in this video, um, not an ad or anything like that, but I am an affiliate with the brand and I do have a discount code if you wanna use it. It's Rebecca Capel 10, I'll put it on screen. Um, gets you 10% off courses, cosmetics and fashion on P. Louise. So um, yeah, if you wanna use it, it's there. If you don't, that's fine. Because this look is sort of cool toned, and a little bit lighter on the lid, I'm gonna mix two and four. When you go in with a little bit of a lighter base, it's better for cool tones because then they sort of stand out a little bit. If your base is a little bit too dark, those lighter shades can just sort of like fade into the eyeshadow base. So I've just put both of those on my stainless steel palette and I'm gonna use a MAC 252S brush. I 100% prefer the MAC 252S to the MAC 252. So obviously I already have lash extensions on guys. So to avoid getting anything in the lash extensions, obviously this is a cream product. I'm just gonna sort of turn my brush upside down and go in that way and just start packing on that base. And as you can see, it's a little bit lighter than the rest of my face. So I'm gonna mainly concentrate in the center of my eye rather than out here, because if I apply too much out here, it's gonna be harder to blend into my skin. So I'm just gonna keep most of the product in the middle there. I'm just gonna carve out my brows while I'm here, why not? And I only really carve the end nowadays. Um, I tend to sort of leave the front a little bit more natural. But in this picture, she has got like quite fluffy but structured brows. And I really, really like that. I do like a fluffy brow, but I think on me, if it's too fluffy, like I feel like I went through a phase at Christmas of doing really fluffy brows. And I feel like it just doesn't suit me as much as something like a brow which is fluffy and structured at the same time like exactly what i'm wearing today um if you want to know any of the other products that i've got on my face i will leave all of them listed down below in the description box if you want to check them out or anything like that but yeah so just evenly distribute in that p louise base across the lid and then I'm gonna grab a Peaches Makeup PC10. This is just a fluffy synthetic brush and I'm just gonna use this to buff in the P. Louise base into my skin. Can you see how that just fades really nicely now? And what this is gonna do is just pick up any excess product as well. So just super, super nice and fluffy. Okay, so base is on and we're ready to go. So excited about doing this look. Oh my god. So, I think I'm going to mainly start on the outer part of the eye with some really, really nice cool tones. I don't want anything sort of like a grey, but I want it to be like a really cool tone brown. I'm going to go in 
with a mix of the shades Front Page and Fake News to start off with to sort of build up like a nice cool tone blend. Apply that with a P. Louise 120 brush. So what was it? A mix of Fake News and a little bit of Front Page. And I'm just going to start working that in sort of like an outer V. And I love these brushes from P. Louise, the Cancel Collection one, because I feel like they have quite a lot of like precision brushes, which I personally way, way prefer working with like really precise eyeshadow brushes. I feel like you get a lot more control um, with your application rather than like going in with massive brushes and it not being as precise. So yeah, I really, really love like smaller precision brushes. So I'm just sort of working that on the outer part of the eye and sort of starting to wing that shape out. Now this is adding like a really nice cool toned base for like the smoky wing that we're going to do. I think I'm mainly going to focus on this photo rather than this one. I did like the shimmery element to the second one. Um, I think this first photo is just... Oh, it's just an unreal makeup look. So nice. Sometimes I feel like people think that cool tones have to be greys. You can definitely, definitely do like a greyish smoky eye with browns. And sometimes I feel like that is the best way to do it. I feel like half the time it does look so much better with those sort of like cool browns rather than a grey. So as you can see, I've just sort of done like a nice blend on that outer V. I'm just going to do the same on this side. Okay, so we've sort of got that like cool tone base down. I do want to start and go in with some black and start working our way between the black and this light colour. Working with black is quite difficult, so I'm going to take it slow and I'm going to take it really, really steady. Um, I'm going to use a Peaches Makeup PC 47 and I'm going to use the shade Fabrication in the palette. Um which is the black. Quick, I'm just going to spray with setting spray because my skin feels so dry. I don't know why. It feels really tight. That literally feels so much better. I don't even think I used setting spray today. Oh, fab, I feel like my skin looks so much better now. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to go in with the black in the palette and the PC47 and I'm going to start building up this sort of wing shape. Um on the outer corner so super super light and remember we're blending the black at first so we need to blend the black into these cool tones to get that really nice fade uh, which is on this picture you can see on the outer corner there's a really really nice blend going on and um, sort of in this region here which is what I really want to focus on first before I go in with like any intense black liner or anything like that so i'm just going to start and focus that and start blending you can see how it's not that intense because i've used a tiny amount i've literally dipped into the product once and then i'm going to go in with that first brush and blend those cool tones in there super light pressure with your shadows is the key to getting a good blend being really really light and sometimes like precision brushes are your best friend when it comes to this sort of stuff and being really visual as well like I'm looking at this outer section of Dixie's eye and I'm imagining where that will go on my eye it's honestly the key to doing things like this and it is a process as well it's all about like building up you know you're not just going to put one eyeshadow on and it's going to look exactly like that photo. Everything is a process. So just really need to like build it up and make it look amazing. So I want to incorporate a little bit of dark brown into this. So I'm going to take the shade Leaked mixed with Problematic. Um, and my reason being that this is starting to look a little bit grey. And I don't want it to look too grey. But I don't want it to look brown either. Um, but by mixing that little bit of brown in there, it sort of like neutralised that grey a little bit. And then just go back in with that first brush and blend out. And it's always good to have a clean blending brush on hand just to blend any edges too. 
I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush. This is a Molly O'Brien M08. And I'm going to sort of take like a medium brown, like censored in the palette, maybe mixed with a little bit of like news flash. And I'm going to pull in the centre just towards that inner corner, just so we have sort of like a little block of smoke in the centre of the eye that's going to connect the outer part to the inner part. And I just feel like this brown, again, neutralises all that grey. And can you see how much of a difference that little bit of eyeshadow just makes? So I'm taking that MAC 252 again, and I'm just going to sort of block out the front of my eye. So just sort of creating like a blank canvas in the front. To sort of like block out that front section like she has on the photo. And we're doing all the like deep liner and stuff last because I need to do all the lighter bits first. So just taking a really small blending brush again. How many times am I going to say small blending brush in this video? Just buffing the edges of that. Remember, this is just excess P. Louise base from what we used as our eyeshadow base. It's not any extra, so it's quite dry. So it's ideal for what we're going to do next. So for this stage, I'm actually going to go in with my face powder because I don't think there's a shade in this palette that I actually want to use. Um, this is the Jordana Tisha set in powder duo and I'm going to use a Zoeva 227 and I'm just going to take the pressed setting powder and go over that P. Louise base because I'm going to be going in with something which has like a little bit of shimmer but I'm not going to be full on like loading on an eyeshadow onto that base. I do just want to set it with a little bit of powder so this is going to act as our eyeshadow if that makes sense. And then I do actually want to add like a little bit of shimmer like not too much but just like an ever so slight glisten. So do you know what? I actually tried to find the sh specific shimmer that I wanted and I knew that only Colourpop would do the specific type of shimmer that I really wanted to do. So I have the Wild Nothing palette um, from Colourpop, which is this one, or I have the Good As Gold palette, which is this one. And I don't know which shade I want to use. I think I'm going to use the Good As Gold palette because I really want to use this shade 24 karat. That seems like the shade that I want to use, but this particular formula from Colourpop is next level. It's literally unreal. So I'm going to take a little bullet brush and just go into that 24 karat shade and I'm just going to lightly press. Can you see how it's like a really fine, barely there glitter? You could make this so intense by applying it with your finger, but by going in with a brush, it just adds like this ever so slight sparkle. It looks absolutely unreal. You can build it up as well. I'm not actually applying enough eyeshadow to set that P. Louise base. So by going in with that powder first for something like this is so ideal. Just like that. I think that's so good. Absolutely love it. <gasps> Screaming. Now comes the fun part. We're going to intensify all this smoky liner and all this black liner. Now, I think I'm going to do my waterline first. So the eyeliner that I'm going to use is the MAC technical graph black liner mac do really really good black liners that stay all day and they're like really really intense pigment so this is going to be my go-to i'm going to fully line my waterline and my tight line up there so i'm just going to go straight in and really get this down like full-on intense smoky black liner Get right in all the gaps. So, liner is on. I'm going to go in with a Morphe M508 and the shade Fabrication, which is the black. And I'm going to start smoking out the lower lash line because then this will give me an indication on where I can smoke up to in the wing. So, how thick has she got it? She's got it quite thick. So, we're going we're gonna to do it quite thick. This is a really, really tiny, precise brush as well. And remember, guys, when you're working with black less is more especially if you're working with something like a p louise eyeshadow which is really really intense use a really really precise brush as well to avoid like over applying it 
this brush is so tiny that you can literally get right up into that lash and like close that gap where the lashes are. As well, if you're like me and you've done skin first, then you need to be very, very careful. So done on that side, I'm gonna do the same on this side. So now I'm gonna get an even smaller brush. This is a Peaches and Cream PC32. Again, going in with that black shade. And we're gonna start working on this wing on the top. So by using a smaller brush, we're gonna get more intense pigment. And we're not trying to blend this, but we're trying to build it up now. So I'm going to start on the outer part of my lash line. And I'm still following that shape that we've already put down with all those other shades in the beginning. Because that gives us a really nice base. Connecting that outer corner to. And then I'm just grabbing that original blending brush and I'm just softening the edges and I'm going to really really build this up by doing those cool tones in the beginning we've actually saved ourselves a lot of time because this is so easy now can you see that smoke <gasps> this is going to be one of my favorite looks I've ever done I just know it so can you see by going on the top of the outer part of the eye we get so much lift compared to this side so I'm just going to do the same on this side and just really focus that on the wing shape. And then just for my lower lash line, I'm taking this Cosmic Brushes. I think this is a BL08 brush. Really, really love this brush. I'm gonna take um, a mix of front page and fake news and just blend that right underneath this black on the lower lash line just to blend it out. Then I'm gonna take this little angled brush from the Morphe and Madison Beer brush set. This is the tiniest winged liner brush that I've ever used and it's really, really good. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that black and I'm just gonna connect all along my lash line, just to the front here where it's not as finished off. And this is a really good thing to do, especially if you or your client has lash extensions, even if it's just like a little bit of brown to tight line that upper lash line, it makes the lashes look so much better, especially when you've got makeup on. The liner on Dixie is quite strong in the front of the eye, and then it sort of like fades into this soft, smoky wing. So that is exactly what we're going for today. You can just see on this side, it looks a little bit more polished off than on this side. So I'm just gonna complete the same on this side too. And then also, I'm not quite happy with the outer corner, I want that to be darker as well. This is a full on smoky look, so I really want to make sure it's intense. We're not doing anything by halves today, guys. We're doing the full smoky. And then something that I always do, and this is like one of my top tips, is this brush is a Peaches and Cream PC10. It's the one that we used in the beginning just to get rid of any excess P. Louise base. What I'm going to do with the residue of this P. Louise base on my brush is just really clean up that wing. What it does, it sharpens everything without making it look too sharp and harsh because it's quite fluffy and you're only using residue. So it cleans it up, but still makes it look nice. And then to finish off, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Extended Play Gig Back Lash Mascara, just for my bottom lashes, not for my tops. Um, This is the best lower lash line mascara. If you've not tried it yet, please do. It's literally amazing. So for lip, I'm going to use Morphe Sweet Tea to line and then I'm going to mix two of the new P. Louise lip bases together. I'm going to mix Stark Naked and Semi Nude. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of these on my palette. Now with these lip bases, you need the tiniest amount, honestly. Like when I say tiny, I mean tiny. Just because I want to make a really nice peachy sort of lip that Dixie's got going on. I probably do have exactly the same lipstick or like an exact match in my collection but I really love using these lip bases at the minute and you can mix them together so nice so I'm just gonna apply that on my lip and tap out and then for gloss I'm gonna go in with my Lano Lips Golden Lip Water which is my fave at the minute for a bit of shine all right, guys, that is the finished makeup look. I'm going to do my hair and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So that is the finished look for the Patrick Tarte and Dixie D'Amelio style makeup. 
I'm absolutely obsessed with this makeup. I feel like it's so me. Anything like really smoky like this, I just absolutely love and adore it. So I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. I'll list all the products that I've used in this video and that's on my face right now in the description box for you, along with all my social channels so you can come and follow me on Instagram and things like that. I have also started um, posting on TikTok so if you want to show me some love over there it would be greatly appreciated um just before i get bullied by children so guys that's it for this video before you leave don't forget to subscribe hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a little comment in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye